Elizabeth Warren is at it again, blaming somebody else for her policy failures. Let's take a look at the tweet. This time, it's corporate greed that's to blame. Inflation isn't some magic, unstoppable force. Well, thanks for letting us know, Elizabeth. Uh, that's correct. You're, you're right about that. Inflation is caused by two things, either excessive government spending and or excessive expansion of the monetary supply. It's not magic. It's pretty simple economics. But to Elizabeth, it's influenced by corporate greed. And we aren't powerless to fight back. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for fighting back to the problem that you yourself helped create. She says she's been cracking down on price gouging. Let's take a look how she did that. She pushed the Biden administration to appoint these two people who are the dream team that are going to crush inflation. Some guy at the Justice Department and another person at the FTC. But neither of these people work at the Federal Reserve where they could limit the printing of money or at Congress where they can limit government spending. So I'm not really sure what they're doing, if anything at all. Then in the same tweet thread, she says, in July, for the 12th month in a row, it's actually June, Elizabeth, they announced the numbers in July, it's for June, uh, yearly inflation went down. Uh, that's not really actually true. Inflation is at 3%, so <laughs> we still have inflation, it's just not as high as it was in the middle of last year. Remember, we didn't have much inflation at all until January of 2021 when Bidenomics came and uh, inflation went really high. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for voting for the Inflation Reduction Act and the American Rescue Plan. These are massive government spending programs that increased inflation. Elizabeth, you can see that in your own chart. You see that how the chart goes way up? You're celebrating that it's gone down a little bit? Whoa, uh, get a hold of yourself. Let's not also forget that core CPI is at 4.8. At least that's what the government is willing to admit. Even Vox, Vox.com, thought that the American Rescue Plan worsened inflation, as they put it. Larry Summers, Treasury Secretary in the Clinton administration, it's the least responsible economic policy in 40 years. Elizabeth, you voted for that. She ends by saying that she's going to continue to fight to lower costs. It almost sounds like she wants deflation. That's a very strange position to take. What we're at risk of is actually stagflation, which is inflation and a slowing economy. That seems to be a real threat in the near future. But that's how the grift game goes when you're Elizabeth Warren. You cause the problem and then you blame the symptoms on somebody else. I'm John F. Gately. You can call me Jack. I'm broadcasting to you from beautiful Plymouth, America's hometown in Massachusetts. Have a great day.